Hi! In this video I'm going to show you how I upholster share with sheepskin and give you some tips and tricks. After I have taken the old fabric off the share, I used the different parts as plates. A sheepskin can of course be in different shapes and conditions, so it takes some time to figure out which skin fits best to the different parts. If you want almost invisible seams, you have to choose parts that have similar fur and where the curls of the fur also are laying in the same direction. Unfortunately, I do not have a, a fur sewing machine, but I asked my upholster friend and she helped me with the sewing. And because of the corona circumstances, I cannot show you how these fur parts are sewed together. But here you see the result of the seams. And as you can see here, you get a very nice result. Examine the sheepskins carefully so you don't get any damaged areas on the parts that you're going to cut out. And as you see here, they have very different curls as well. And also look at the back side for damage areas. It can be easy to miss them, so look carefully. And here I have the plate of the seat. I mark the seat from the back side and if you want to save some sheepskin you just cut the parts off that you want to see when the share is finished and take a bit of fabric instead. You don't cut the the plates with seam allowance. And it's important to cut the fur from the back side with a knife instead of a scissor. Because if you want an invisible seam, you can't cut the fur off. And use a sharp snap of knife. And here you see what I mean. Is much more fluffier on the side I use a knife from the back side. You can see the difference. And if the knife is sharp, it's very easy.
and here are the seat pouch sewed together and you get a very nice result. And here you can see the stitches from the fur sewing machine. It's very hard to see where the seam is, so it will be a very good result of this. Now it's time to upholster the chair. I start with the sides of the frame, then the seat and then the back. If you want an even more invisible seam, you can try to use just a fork and make the fur more fluffy. And if the fur are different length, just take the little scissor and cut it off. And you will get, get a really nice uh, seam. Sometimes it can be hard <coughs> to get the fabric or in this case the sheepskin around this part of the frame because it's so tight. Use twine to get it in place. It can help.
Some, sometimes you can see this underneath the stuffing of a furniture. It's foam and that is pulled into the coil springs. Now this is the cheapest and the fastest way to get a less soft feeling sitting in the furniture. I don't do like this when I work with stuffing, but I see it sometimes in furniture I work with. And here I have done some buttons. First I put needles where I want the buttons to be placed. put them in place with a needle and a twine.
I cut off the sheepskin exactly where I want it to end and then put away as much fur as I can and staple the skin in place.
Ta-da! A really nice finish share upholster in sheepskin. And the color is called Honey. Bye!